Hello, ladies and gentlemen, back again with another, this is another at another website called Insider, and this is an insider that, that brings you, uh, hold on, let me close this, uh, brings you companies in 2020 that brought away with discrimination and harassment against major companies like Amazon, McDonald's, and Pinterest. These are some of years high profile companies. So, these are companies that have been discriminated in 2020. So, I just wanted to read the article. And I'm let you read the article. But, um, yeah, this, this, this stuff is real. This stuff is really going on in the 20th century. You know, you can't, you can't say, well, it's, you can't call it fragility or white guilt. This is something that's really going on. I mean, you know, people are not just, it's just hollering and complaining. And I, in my previous video, I, I took you to the actual website that goes to various co companies in the, since the early 2000s. Now we in the 20, near another decade, and we're going to another thing of discrimination, work discrimination. And these actual companies that were sued in 2020 which was just a couple of years ago. Wow. Harassment was placed, harassment was complaints with 7,500 harassment, 72,000 complaints about sex, racial, sex, and age and religious. 72,000 complaints. And is that Sunday's major business like Google, Amazon, McDonald's, and Pinterest, Johnson Johnson fakes, battles over allergies and racism and sexism? In 2018, companies like Google, Uber, Fox News, Riot Games, UPS, Coca Cola, and Target had to pay out multi million dollar settlements. Wow. Amazon have had, wow, Amazon was accusing lawsuits of your having hiring practices and COVID-19 safety measures that racially, or race, or racially biased as well as discriminating against a pregnant transgender man. If, starting in February, October, November, <laughs> I remember Amazon had the nerve to send, send you one of those postcards see if you want to work for them. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Bloomberg LP was hit with lawsuits, sexual harassment as well as racial and gender bias pay and promotion practices. June, August, former Mayor Mike Bloomberg. Uh, this person is Chan Zuckerberg, private on Priscilla Chain and Mark Webb was sued by employees for claiming black people. Wow. So, Chan Zuckerberg initiated a private philanthropy run by Priscilla Chain and Mark Zuckerberg was sued by employees who came black employees These are underpaid, undervalued, and under and marginalized. In November. 
the season. Wow. Disney. Facebook became the subject of federal complaint. Allegedly, the company is biased against black em employees and candidates. We don't have a race problem in this country. No. Oh, no. No. We just, this is all just exaggeration, right? <laughs> Don't want to talk about this. Don't cover it up. Want all this covered. And these three, Hannity, Tucker Carlson, and this guy, Ed Henry, was a sexual harassment. Wow. So you have sexual harassment tied into this, ladies and gentlemen. Google. Wow. Sue twenty six for women. Esquire was sued by executive when she was faced gender and age discrimination. Johnson Johnson. Sexual orientation, Marriott, I'm glad I never stayed at Marriott, uh, McDonald's is facing two racial, okay. but black, from, I remember this from black franchises, I never eat McDonald's, I never eat McDonald's anyway. April, wow, look at this. An obvious features discrimination. In October, wow. They have a pipeline of discrimination. No. No, we don't want we don't want this going in the history of race theory. That's why they're trying to get some of this out of the school because we don't want people to feel guilty. But it's right there in black and white, right in your face. Just cover up your pain. Don't cause other people. That's what kind of kind of world we live in now. When it's put in your face. The NAACC sued by HBCU Alley claimed the organization academic performance policy buys against their schools. Wow. So historic black colleges get discriminated. So the NWCA, almost up, NWCAA gets, wow. And they make billions off of other basketball programs, but yet. They discriminate against black schools, but they got black players on all so many amount of teams. Wow, make it make sense. Oracle sued in twenty seventeen. Underpaid. Man, Pinterest. Wow, Pinterest really? Wow. Uber, Uber, have a five-star system is race racially. I believe that. I, I believe Uber is like that. That did it, Uber. Where this guy, Warner Brothers, go to the boys' club. Rework was hit with. So what is the solution to all this, ladies and gentlemen? What is the solution? Basically, if you want 
the different groups of people is basically build your own network your own and have a pipeline with your own people because obviously these people who we are in the 21st century is a different scenarios they don't understand they see you know, need to have their own thing so the best thing to do if you are a person who is a woman transgender black is a former you know if you got the skills and talent you rally against them rally against them and advertise and find a company that will advertise for you and this this will stop this will put them under punishment these companies need to be punished they need to be punished in their, in their pocketbooks they need, they need to be punished by the investors that they deal with they need to be punished and the more that they do stuff like this it's going to hit them in the pocket look what happened with the situation even though it was part of it um, even though it was start out with the initiative of false information medical information <clears throat> that Spotify um, as they claim as false information and then the artist in the RV who released the thing about Joe Rogan and Spotify agreed it's, that they, cause he, cause, because he's they signed a hundred million dollars and they did was defined anyway because they were going to lose a hundred million dollar product but all of a sudden what happened with spotify is that you see in business journal they lost 1.5 billion dollars that's 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 when you're going to have to hit them in the pocketbook and the investors going to have to back up and say hey maybe we need to re strategize and we think about how we treat people and for you black investors who in the stock market, look for these companies like Marriott that's on Wall Street and McDonald's and all these and, and, and ask yourself, do you want to bust, invest with a company if you're an investor that discriminates based on race? And these are business owners who are, who are based on race. That's the only way you're going you're gonna to hit them. When they start losing billions and millions of dollars, they'll wake up. That's all they that they understand is power money and power that's why they keep doing what they do you know and you shouldn't have to train someone to have certain kind of they don't work about these special programs that cultural diversity programs what that don't do to train train another human being as one you can't train racism out of some people they either rate they either stop or they don't it's got to cost them one way or the other whether it's at a low level or at a high level, whether it's at a management level, you can't train something like that out. No, what you got to do is hit them in the pocketbook. And when they cut, you start losing money and, they, and the, the profits ain't adding up, then you, you'll get the attention. Maybe they say, oh, wow, maybe what we're doing in, in revenue is wrong because we can't simply have a prejudgment we are not allowed to have a prejudgment of individuals based on what our stereotypes and what our skin color is to be. So, you know, forget, forget that racial sense of training. These people don't understand that. They don't understand that. What you do is you hit them in the pocket. So the investor, because everything's about money. America's about capital. And the only way you got to answer discrimination is through capital and come together with companies that don't have this foolishness. That's the only way you're going to battle racism in the 20, in 2022. None of this, they don't, you could sue them and there'd be another company going to be out there and they, they have this, uh, an I say so kind of mentality. I'm white and I say so. I don't care. Don't, don't, don't hurt me. They don't hurt me because I can just do what I want to do. So, hey, so let them do what they want to do. Let it cost them in their own pocketbook when they come to investors. All right, then, ladies and gentlemen, here's another video on how racism it actually is in the 2022. Prove it. Here it is from the insider from the website. All right, then, you guys take care. Till next time, be blessed.